the formidable robot. As a long-time Roblox player, I've seen my fair share of glitches and eerie occurrences, but nothing could prepare me for the experience I had when I stumbled upon a long-forgotten version of Roblox. It all started innocently enough. Late one night, fueled by nostalgia, I decided to delve into old forum posts in search of old Roblox builds and games. After hours of fruitless searching, I stumbled upon a big forum thread buried deep in the archives. The thread was about a legendary version of Roblox, version 1.0, rumored to be filled with glitches and strange phenomena. This was strange to me because I have never heard about such version existing before, so initially my first thought was that it was a hoax. Intrigued and perhaps a little foolish however, I scoured the thread further just in case there was a download link, and to my surprise, I found one. A user shared the link separated by a string of characters in order to bypass the filter, a method which I assume would not work today. With a mixture of both excitement and trepidation, I clicked the link and began the installation process. The download was slow, almost agonizingly so, as if something was possibly wrong with it. Finally, after what felt like an eternity, the installation completed, and I launched this version of Roblox. The interface was archaic, way worse than the newer design of modern Roblox. I'll admit, there was some charm to it, although that might be simply my nostalgia talking. There weren't any games to choose from, but the search games function worked. I joined the first game I could find, which was supposedly a deserted recreation of an old town, or at least that's what the description of the game said. Right off the bat, I spawned inside the exact same location that was in the thumbnail. As I explored, I noticed subtle glitches. The textures were constantly buzzing, as I can describe it, and the audio was kind of glitchy, like cutting off one part of the audio at one point or looping certain parts for example. The game had a different set of houses along with multiple roads, all of which looked the same. My character looked like an older version of the new avatar. The animations were slow, weird, and looked like they were unfinished. As I moved around the random town, even more glitches started to appear. Buildings would move around and distort as I approached them, and the character animations became more jerky. I shrugged it off as bugs that were present in the version and weren't fixed yet. After what felt like hours of exploration, I stumbled upon a hidden area tucked away behind what looked like a dilapidated building. It was a small nondescript room with a single blocky computer sitting in the center. The image on it was too blurry to make out. As I approached, a GUI popped up, displaying a simple prompt. Enter password. The text box which I could type on required me to enter a six-digit code. All of this caught me off guard because nobody mentioned anything like this in the forum thread. I was ready to close this game, believing that I downloaded something completely fake and that this was all a waste of time. Before deciding to leave, I entered 123456 as a joke. To my surprise, the screen flashed green, and a new prompt appeared. Access granted. Just then, a new button appeared. Download files. I clicked on it, and a new folder appeared on my desktop simply titled Roblox. With a sense of both excitement and dread, I opened the folder and began to navigate throughout the files stored on the folder. Most of them were either empty, unimportant or corrupted beyond recognition as I'd get an error when trying to open them, but one caught my eye. A file labeled simply, Project Genesis. Opening it revealed a bunch of documents detailing an ambitious experiment conducted by the developers of Roblox version 1.0. According to the logs, Project Genesis was an attempt to create a fully immersive virtual reality experience by tapping into the subconscious minds of players. The developers' notes further detailed how they had delved into nearly impossible territory, exploring the depths of the human mind in a bid to revolutionize gaming. Despite the weirdness of this all, there was a morbid fascination driving me forward to read all these documents once again. The contents of the documents were way too detailed for it to be a hoax, especially because they also contained details about the lives and private information of some well-known admins and developers. What stood out to me the most was that one document stated that Eric Castle didn't die from cancer, but was assassinated by the orders of David Basucky with the motive being unknown. Weird. 
As I rummaged through all of them, I finally clicked on the final document, expecting some sort of answer or closure to what this was all about. Instead, what I found was a single line of text that said, They're watching. My heart hammered in my chest as I frantically tried to understand what they referred to. But before I could make sense of it, my computer screen flickered before turning off. I don't know how long I sat there, paralyzed by fear, but when I finally mustered the courage to turn it back on, both the folder on my desktop and the old version of Roblox were gone as if they had never existed at all. I tried to go back to the link I downloaded the client from, but this time it didn't work, so I went back to the forum archives to continue reading the thread in case I found more information. Everyone was claiming how the download link led to nowhere, which was odd to me. When I reached the last page of the thread, there was one last reply coming from the official Roblox account itself. This time however, the majority of the text was blurred out and I could only make out the words. Thread locked. I searched up everyone involved with the thread in an attempt to contact them, but all of them were either banned or inactive and it seems like none of them had any online presence besides Roblox. Trying to look this up on the internet yields no results thankfully. Looking back on all of this, it's not some dumb haunted old version of Roblox that baffles me. It's that some of my employees desperately wanna expose me and the entire project I worked so hard on. And yet they still failed. Looks like I know who I'm firing in my next meeting.